Good morning. We are Commons for our Meta Navigation. Our team members are Shane, Lynette, and myself, Edsel. Now, I will ask if you could please close your eyes and imagine all of all the things that you've been missing out. Now, consider that one out of 45 people in America are legally blind. To address this, our team has developed a wearable device that will allow the vision impairing blind to experience more of the visual work with a unique design appropriate for any environment that complements other products for navigation on foot. I will now describe the device's main components and their functionalities. At first, the device will detect a pedestrian traffic sign using the Javois camera surf object recognition. Then, the Raspberry Pi will receive the data of the objects recognized and inform the user via audio tones and verbal output via bone conduction transducers. Uh, then, it will describe the devices, uh, the objects, uh, approximate position being left, right, or ahead. Each sign has a unique uh, category assigned to it, which is left, I mean caution, blocked, and ahead, each having a unique audio tone assigned. We also have additional features like a button. The button is used to actually use the device to help the power as well to provide additional information. For instance, if you tap the button, it will give information of the sign that's in front of the user, and if you hold it for two seconds, it will pause it. As well, we have sensors. The IMU is used to put the device in lower power <coughs> mode, and as well, the distance sensors that if you're too close to a sign, it will put it in a pause. To measure performance, we tested 28 pedestrian signs on campus. 20 were recognized within a second from a distance of 5 to 13 feet. Six were detected inconsistently, then two weren't detected at all. Our device also runs for around three hours on a single charge, and we were able to properly classify left, right, and center with all that within a 60 degree field of view. As with any project, first generation project at that, there's many opportunities for improvement, such as using head gestures for easier control, set of the button, war warning of oncoming obstacles, expanding the range of detected objects. In long term, we hope that this could be used for tourism or maybe audio-focused augmented reality. In the making of our project, we learned several valuable lessons, such as the importance of working together in a team, the significant advantages of building upon existing work, as well as the complexities of filtering noisy signals and the importance of planning for unexpected difficulties. Thank you for your time. All right. Uh, let's open the floor to questions. Um, do you compensate the image from the camera because of uh, uh, distortions, uh, distortion correction? I mean, if you, that the question is, are you do this type of correction in real time? The algorithm we chose, SURF, or speeded up robust features, actually handles some distortions for us. It's based on like feature key points as opposed to specific exact pixel matching. Thank you. Were you able to check on the effect that poor vision, or I'm asking, poor uh, like fog or something that might distort it? Uh, how about at night? Does it have to be eliminated or can it detect things with low uh, light sources? At the moment, um, our, our current uh, device uh, will not work at night, but as a future improvement, uh, we could put maybe a light on next to the camera uh, to illuminate the image and get some recognition. If I may expand on that, mm -hmm. the recognition method doesn't rely on color, so we could also try an infrared camera. We didn't have time to explore that. Okay. Yes, they cannot add something to the fact that the, the person is, is, is backing up. They can't see behind them. They're supposed to turn around to see the, the signs behind them, or do you guys in your future plans have a, an idea of like putting a camera that's looking behind them as well? That's actually something that we did not consider, somebody backing up, so that's actually a good idea. Did you have particular types of signs that you weren't able to recognize and then others that were very easily recognized? 
We actually picked, since it was the time constraint, we focused on five specific signs. Mm -hmm. So those were the five specific signs that we actually trained the machine to learn and experience. Um, based on the, the camera that we're using, we can actually feed other images and the camera will be able to recognize. But you said there was six or seven that were intermittent and then two or three that didn't recognize it at all. What was, was there an assignable cause for that that, that you identified and would you have um, plans to go, if you had more time, would you have plans to go address that? Yes, yeah, sometimes, um, well, the, the camera is trained with specific uh, images that we train it with, so then um, these uh, other signs that weren't detected were because of shadows or some features, like maybe there was like a line through the sign, just the, they were wearing off uh, the common pedestrian, I mean, pedestrian traffic signs that we see out there, mm -hmm. so. So do you there think with, with further training? <coughs> right, we could uh, train it, it with multiple images, but by training it with more images, it could make the system a little slower. So there has, we have to work around that as well. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, uh, sorry, we're on a tight schedule. So uh, let's thank, you. thank the team. Thank you.